What's up, fam? Modern Day Caveman here again. Hey, I had an interesting weekend, man. I, it was it was pretty cool, man. I got to, um, I had a really good weekend, man. I spent it with family. Family, you know, I spent it. It started off um, Saturday night with my cousin. <laughs> she is, my cousin is absolutely gorgeous, man. She's, she. She and she wanted to go out. Well, I wanted to go out, and and she wanted to take me. And so she was like, we was gonna go. We had a couple options. We could have went roller skating. She had roller skating, the horseback riding, and then she said, well, we can go to this club, which is like a dance club. It was like a bar. And so she had, and I was like, I can't go roller skating because the last time I went roller skating. <laughs> My knee is still messed up from the roller skating. And I didn't want to mess it up. Um, horseback riding, I didn't know about it because like I had, we had to, it was like a daytime thing and I wanted to go Saturday night. I don't think it was going to be open on Sunday. So I just, I, I chose the, the dance because, you know, I like to dance. I really do. I like to dance. And um, we went, <laughs> we went to this club called the M Bar in North Canton, and I put a little small video on on uh, Facebook Live. We was there at Facebook Live. We got there kind of early, and so it wasn't really, you know, it wasn't really much going on when we first got there. DJ seemed like he was pretty cool, you know. Well, actually, we didn't even know the guy was the DJ until I just saw him come walking back and forth, and he's offering us drink, and uh. I tried, uh, what was it, peach, peach Ciroc. I just tried a, a little bit of peach Ciroc. It was all right, but I I don't like, I'm not a drinker, so it was, I just tasted it. It was pretty good, um, It was, but it didn't give me a buzz or nothing. Like, I thought I'd find a drunk something that it gave me a buzz, but I, I was, I'm glad it didn't because I was driving anyway, so, but anyways... So, it wasn't, the, the club was all right. Let me just say this. The club was cool. The DJ is the one that made, he, he, he was messing up, right? I don't know what he was thinking. He played, he, like the DJ is who makes the atmosphere. Like if you got a, I mean, the club was phenomenal. It was a great club. They had like three different things going on. They had a live, a live band in one room. Then they had outside dance did DJ in the other room and then we were on the inside and the DJ that we had in our room in the, in the in the place where we were he was just all over the place man he went from DMX to Britney Spears to to uh, what do you call it the one guy that the, the the wobble then he went from there to the Mexican music or I don't know Mexican but Latina you know Latinx he went to Latinx music and uh he just was all over the place, man. And like, like he'd have the dance floor. It would be like he'd play a song, and everybody would be like, "Yeah." And as soon as we get on the dance floor, he'll change it. <laughs> We're like, "What?" And I, I didn't take my camera in there. I should have, but I didn't know how my cousin was gonna feel about me putting it on camera. And then plus, you know, with the with the this whole copyright thing with the other people's music. It's starting to be a problem. And I didn't really dance that much. I danced, you know, and I danced by myself more more than anything else. I danced with this one girl. She, oh my God, she, she was, uh, man, okay, let me just say this. We were dancing on the dance floor, and the song was like, get low, get low, get low. So I was going down and get low, and this girl threw her leg up over my shoulder. And I was like, what? And then she stunk at that. And I was like, ah! <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what the heck, man? It was crazy. I was trying to be polite. So as soon, like, soon as he changed the song, I was like, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I took off. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, dude, this was crazy. That was a crazy moment. But I had an awesome time though. It was it was fun. Like it was cool. We 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 spent a few hours there, man, and we was cool, man. We was cool. So then I left there 
and and because I had a drink, I didn't want to drive drunk. So I was I was like I didn't want to risk driving all the way home. So my daughter lived right around the corner, and so I went and visited my daughter and my granddaughters, man, and they were happy to see me. And uh, so I got to I got to do <laughs> my daughter, my granddaughter. I call her, I keep calling her my daughter. Like I, she's like almost like my daughter. My granddaughters like I treat them like my daughters, but. So, but my, my, my granddaughter, she, she needed to get her hair taken down. She had all of these braids in her hair that she wanted to get out. And uh, you know that that I am, like I do hair. That's what, like one of the things I'm good at. And so I decided to take her hair down. And I, I spent the, the all, like we stayed up like, she whizzed about four o'clock in the morning, 3.30 in the morning, me taking her hair down and just talking. And she was bored because she was like, she was like, I don't like. She, she, the one thing she said was, she was like, "You just now got home, and now you're leaving again." And I was like, "Yeah, I don't know." And so it was, I, I got to spend some more time with my grandkids before I leave, because Cincinnati is about four hours away from here, and that's, you know, that's a drive. So, but it was cool. So I, I spent the night with my granddaughters. We had a little sleepover. <laughs> they are crazy. I got to see, I don't know, kids are a trip, man. Kids kids are, like, the, her and her sister are two totally different. Like, you can, her and her sister are twins, and they are totally different, like, totally opposite. It's it's weird to see, like, two young girls that are, that are, that were raised in the same environment, they have two different views. It's, it was, it's just weird. It's just weird to see that they're, they're two different people entirely. It's, it's, it's weird. So I spent the night with her, and then I bought them breakfast. Then I finished taking down her hair, and then I went home to my mom. And I always call my mom's house home. Like, it's going to always be home. And so because I didn't get to sleep really that much at my daughter's house, I, I came home, and I, I, I took a shower, and I... I went to bed. I, I took a nap. Then I woke up. Then I had this. I was hungry, but my mom does not cook on Saturdays, and I'm like, Ugh. so. But it was Sunday. Oh, that's right. It was Sunday, so she should have cooked. Oh man, I feel cheated. <laughs> this is Sunday, so she wasn't cooking. She wasn't cooking Sunday, so. I, I like I got a new credit card and with it came 90 days free DoorDash and I didn't never use it right and I was like how do I use my DoorDash and I was like on the computer trying to figure out how to use a DoorDash and I said I was going to use it and so I went to my mom's house I was like well actually I used my mom's address that's the address that I put in there because I don't like using this address I used my mom's address and so when I was there I was like man I'm going to and I didn't want any, like, chicken and fish or, you know, like, regular stuff. So I, I saw this new restaurant. It was it was a Chinese restaurant, and it was called the New Chinese Restaurant. So I ordered some orange chicken, it, man, and some spare ribs and some shrimp egg rolls. And my goodness, that was so good. It was so good. The only thing I didn't like is the spare ribs. And I knew, I, I, like in the back of my mind, I would say, why did I get the spare ribs from a, from an Asian spot? You know, like I didn't know, I've never known them to do spare ribs. That, that's always something like, like an American thing, I believe. I don't know, maybe I'm stereotyping, I don't, I don't mean to stereotype, but I didn't like the spare ribs because they didn't really have much flavor on them. They didn't have no sauce, but that orange chicken, mm, 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 that was so good. I almost couldn't stop eating it. I didn't stop being night at all. <laughs> so, yeah, and but it was just the opportunity for me to spend some time with my family, and uh, and I wanted to do it really without the camera. Like I just wanted them to see me and to spend time with me, and and not well, you know, modern day caveman and me are the same entity. But you know, when you're in front of that camera, people act people act different when they're in front of that camera. So I just I didn't want people to, to feel uncomfortable. Or like you know, like they got to put on there. Like my mom, she she always has like, no, don't put me on camera. I need to do my hair or like. But sometimes she ain't. It's like it depends. But anyways, I just wanted to do it without the camera. And uh, I had fun, man. I had a nice weekend. I spent it with family, 
and I spent it with a good part of my family, you know, good, my extended family and my family. So it was my cousin and my daughter and my grandkids and my mom and dad. So that was, you know, family is important. Family, very, family is very, very important. I love my family. Yeah, I love my family. I'm gonna miss them all when I. I'm, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss my family when I leave, cause I ain't gonna have no family down in Cincinnati. Not no, you know, blood family. But I'm gonna have a new family, and it's gonna be cool. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm ready. <sighs> okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button. <laughs> Oh my God, I love it, I love it. Okay, all right. Remember, God loves you, so do I. Peace, one love.